Additional testimony in the trial of a man accused of killing a teenage girl in Washington County. The suspect's mother took the witness stand today. Michelle Fiore is live in West Bend with new information. Michelle. Mike and Carol, Laura Bartelt described her son as a good student in high school who took AP classes. It's a far contrast to the rest of what we heard today in court. Today's testimony was focused on what Daniel Bartelt was doing the morning of Jesse Blodgett's death. Do you recall uh, when your son uh, got up approximately and what he did? I believe he got up around his usual time of 6.15 or so and left for work about 6.30. The state showed the jury that Daniel lied. He told his parents he had a job but would sometimes get off early. I'm not sure exactly. It was sometime before noon. Police were called to the Blodgett home just after noon. There they found Jessie strangled to death in her bedroom. Another witness testified about being with Jessie the night before her murder at a cast party. I'm assuming because you saw Jessie swimming, you at some point had a chance to see her in a swimsuit. Yes. Was there anything about the condition of her body that you made note of? That, was, that would indicate any injuries to her body? No. A heartbreaking day for both families. Love your son. Yes. It's fair to say that uh, you and your husband have uh, done everything uh, to provide a decent and loving home for your son and your daughter? Yes. In the hours after Jesse's death, Laura testified that her son was home watching TV. Now, something else we heard in court, a neighbor testified that she drove past the Blodgett's driveway and saw two cars, two vehicles parked in it when there should have been only one because Jesse's mom had already left for work. Live in Washington County, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4.